everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. I have a really special rustic crate card for you. It is a fun fold card. It opens up like this. I don't know what the name of this fun fold is, but it's pretty cool. Um, this is actually a case of a card I got in the mail from Marsha. She made me this card and I just thought, oh my gosh, I have to make that. So I figured it out and I'm gonna show you guys how to make it as well. I'm using the rustic crate bundle. I have um, four other projects using this bundle. So if you're looking for more ideas, make sure that you hop back to my blog and check out the other blog posts. Now I have created a couple of templates for you um, so that you can kind of see what we're gonna do. All these dotted lines are score lines that we're going to make. So first let's grab our piece of pecan pie. And this piece is nine and three fourths by um, four and a fourth. And I'm just gonna score it at five and a half like we would normally do with our card base. Now you're gonna need a pencil and a ruler. And with the larger section over here, see how this is where the five and a half inch score line is? Um, I'm gonna make some pencil marks. First, I'm gonna make one at three and a half right here. And then I'm gonna make another one at seven and a half. Okay, and then I'm gonna come down here and do the same thing on the bottom three and a half, seven and a half. And then over here on this side, I'm gonna make a, uh, a mark at two and an eighth. All right, so now all you need is your ruler and your bone folder. And we're going to just make our own score lines between the marks. So remember, we've got three and a half and seven and a half. So I'm gonna make a diagonal line from three and a half to seven and a half and then three and a half to seven and a half. All right, so line up your ruler like that and make your score line. And then do the same thing over here like that, okay? So now we can kind of look at those. See how that just burnishes your, your paper for you? Now we've got to cut this into a point. So I'm going to take my ruler and you can do this on your trimmer too. And I'm just going to draw a line between the ends, these seven and a half inch marks and that two and an eighth of an inch mark. All right, so let's see my trimmer is right here. And I'm going to trim those off. Hopefully I can see my score lines or my uh, pencil marks. There we go. And there we go. All right, so now this is going to fold in like this down and then like that. And I can see I still have a little bit of pencil mark there so I can erase that. All right, so you're gonna squeeze those in and fold it in and there's your card base. Now for the piece of white, we're gonna do a couple of things as well. Basically, we're gonna make a mark at two inches, right here, and two inches, right here. This piece is five and a fourth by four. And then we're going to make an, a uh, mark right here at the two and an eighth. All right, and then we're gonna do the same thing. And you know, I could just put this on my trimmer instead of drawing the line, let's do that. Put that mark in the gutter and that mark in the gutter. And, oops, I didn't quite get to that mark, did I? Let's make that better. Let's make that correct. Let's see, well, maybe that's about as close as my trimmer's gonna get. All right, now let's do this one to that one like that. All right, so now we have this pointy piece that goes in here like this, okay? All right, so let's put our adhesive on the back and we'll put this piece down here. And then I have a piece of my adorable pecan pie gingham designer series paper from the 
um, Glorious Gingham pack. I have cut a piece of um, DSP from the Garden Walk paper stack, and it's two and three fourths by two and three fourths. And we'll put that right there. All right, now we are ready to do our stamping. I have a piece of basic white right here, and we're gonna stamp the flowers in, whoops, not in wild wheat. We're gonna stamp them in memento black. Let's see, I have a piece of grid paper. Let's put that down. Okay. Now, before I get to coloring, I wanna put my crate together so it has time to dry. I have already cut out these pieces from Pecan Pie. All right, these are the three pieces. Let me show you the dies that you need for this. You need this one for the back, this one for the front, and this one for the handle. And then I've cut this one right here from Early Espresso for the little hinges. Now fold your tabs forward like this and then get your liquid glue or your tear and tape whatever you prefer let's see it's been a long weekend will my glue work let's see come on there we go all right just a little dot and put that all on there and then we're going to take this front and i'm going to line it up on those tabs, squeezing them in like that. All right, and then the handle, I'm gonna adhere in the back. So let me see where I need to put my dots. I'm gonna put a dot right there, and then I'll put another dot right here, like that. All right, so now I'm gonna leave that and let it dry. I may set my block on top of it to try to keep it from popping up. And then we'll, we'll color this and when we're done, it'll be dry. All right, let's start with that adorable pumpkin in the front. I'm gonna use light pumpkin pie and go all the way around. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my dark pumpkin pie. I'm gonna outline those lines like that. Kind of give it a dark, whoa, I got out of the lines a little bit. Good thing there's a pumpkin behind it. Give it a little bit of darker line on the bottom. And then I'm gonna take my light and just kind of blend all that together, leaving that front part pretty light. Now the back pumpkin, I'm gonna use Cajun Craze. And I'm gonna very carefully go around my sunflower. This is my favorite image in the stamp set. Pumpkins and sunflowers are two of my most favorite things. I had sunflowers in my wedding. And if it had been a full wedding, you better believe I would have had pumpkins too. <laughs> I do love pumpkins. All right, we're gonna leave that like that. Now I'm gonna take my, I can't decide if I want to use Daffodil Delight or Wild Wheat. I think we'll do one of each. Let's do this front flower and Wild Wheat. Uh, so I'm going to use my light to go all the way around. Like that. And then I'll take my dark and push some color out from the middle and we'll color in those back leaves like that. All right, now we'll get our light wild wheat for this guy. And we'll color this in. I'm using the bullet end of my stamp and blend. that and then we can take the 
dark and add some coming out from the middle and then add some color, some dark to those petals in the back because there would be a shadow on them. All right, so now I did not bring my crumb cake marker over for the middle of my sunflower, so I'm just gonna use dark wild wheat. I think that'll be just fine. All right, now for the corn, I'm gonna take my dark Daffodil Delight, color those in. But then I'm gonna take my Wild Wheat. Let's do light. Oh, I set that in the glue and I'm trying not to do that. And we'll just dot in some, well, let's try the dark. I think the dark will be better. There we go. All right, last but not least, let's color in those leaves with Old Olive, and I'm gonna use Old Olive for the husk of the corn as well. There we go. All right, so now we're gonna cut this out with our cut and emboss machine. And we've got our matching die, which looks like this. Okay, I'm gonna lay that down right there. And now we can put it all together. And let's put on our our little hinges. I put I put adhesive sheets on the back of these before I cut them to make it a little bit easier. Um, if you can't get the backing off, like I'm having trouble doing, just take your the tip of your scissors or your take your pick tool, which is perfect for this. And we're gonna put one right there. And then We'll put the other one right here like that. We'll stick our cute little fall cluster inside of our crate. I have a stylus shape, uh, crumb cake stylus shape circle, and I'm gonna put some dimensionals on here. And we'll put that right there. We're gonna add a little bow using linen thread. Okay, and grab my scissors, my paper snips, and a little glue dot. And we'll put that right there on the handle. Now let's bring back our card and we're gonna put this right on the front with dimensionals. Like that. All right, last but not least, I'm gonna stamp the sentiment on the inside in wild wheat. I'm gonna stamp it about right there. Every day with you is better. All right, hop back over to my blog for the details and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks everybody, bye-bye.